What's up guys, this is Hector. Welcome back to Lab Coat Garage. So every time we make a video here at the Detail Garage, um, we get those, those special kind of people that say, hey, use this or use this, and that would have done it in 10 seconds or less. Um, there's reasons we don't do that, just because we don't want to damage paint or cause any more, uh, or, get, or be more aggressive. We want to go lighter and, and just step it up as it doesn't work. So uh, one of the, the little trolls said, hey, Toothpaste would have got rid of that stuff in like 10 seconds. Well, guess what I got today? A little toothpaste, okay? So here we have our, our trap car. This is actually not our trap car. This is Joey's trap car. Joey's grandmother's trap car. She does side hustle. I don't know what she does for a living, but. We have her car in today and we're gonna do, we're gonna run it, all right? We're, we're just gonna run it. Toothpaste on one side and then we're gonna use our Chemical Guys Headlight Restore on the other. We're gonna use the exact same uh, orange Hexlogic hand applicator or hand pad. Um, so it's, they have both the same, same shot. Um, and then we're gonna go from there and see how it goes down, all right? Who wins? Does the toothpaste win or does our Chemical Guys Headlight Restore win? All right, let's get started. We're gonna start with our Chemical Guys Headlight Restore and our Hexlogic pad. All right, so we're gonna apply about three little pea-sized drops to one side. And like I said, guys, the other side we're gonna, of this pad here, we're going to use for our toothpaste. We want them to use the same pad, so we see what, what results we get, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blotch out and we're gonna get to work. You're applying eh, light to medium pressure, not too much. So uh, you're gonna get that squeaking and it's not because I'm pressing down hard, like really, really hard. What, what's going on is that um, the uh, Headlight Restore is kind of eating away and, 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 and kind of scrubbing all that, that um, oxidation off the headlight. So even if I didn't press down, you're gonna get that, that sound. All right. Grab our towel here and we're gonna wipe off any excess. Look at that. That's kind of nice, guys. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so this is gonna be our headlight restore side, and I'll move over to the other side for the toothpaste side. Here is our headlight restore side, and now we got our toothpaste, also known as toothpaste. Thanks, Nick, for that one. Um, so we're gonna apply it on this side. We're gonna do the same, try to do the same amount of passes. Oof, it smells like icy hot. It's not icy hot though, I promise. It's, it's toothpaste, all right? We're gonna, oh, that's weird. We'll do, uh, do the same amount of our minty deliciousness. As you can see guys here, this was the uh, Headlight Restore side. I'm using a clean side for our toothpaste. All right, we'll do the same blotching. This does, however, smell delicious, okay? Go back and forth. There's the squeaking. All right. So we get a lot of the, the comments, hey, toothpaste will work just as fast. Uh, this does it better or this does it better. There's a reason we don't use stuff like that. Now, granted, some of those things may or may not work, but for how long? Um, was it gonna look good for one or two days? Um, the Headlight Restore here is going to clean it up, make it look a lot more clear and last as long as a year. Oh, it just depends on the type of coating they're gonna put on there to protect it. Because again, what you're doing is you're scrubbing off any of the, uh, the old protective layer that this headlight had. So you gotta come back with some, some protection and make it look good. There it is, there it is, all right? Just so you guys can see, for you trolls watching, this side here was the toothpaste side, so you got some, you got some dirtiness, all right? So we're gonna wipe off now, and we're gonna see where we're at. Wow, that's extremely hard to wipe off. Wonder why, oh, 
because it's toothpaste. That's, that's why. Wow. There it is. So, um, I'm not a scientist, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to the headlight restorer side. Um, did this clear up a little bit? Uh, maybe. Is that because of the toothpaste or because our orange uh, hand applicator? Um, I'm gonna go with because of this. Um, the toothpaste did not not a lot. Um, it's extremely hard to wipe off. And again, let's say you're happy with this. How long is this gonna last? So what we'll do here is. We'll come back in the next few days, we'll check it out and see where we're at and see how, how, how long it truly lasted. But again, guys, um, this is what we would want to use, our Chemical Guide Satellite Restorer with our um, orange hand pad. Also, what's one of my favorite ways to use it is using an actual rotary or even a drill attach attachment. Um, it cuts through a little bit faster, a little bit easier. You get a more even result and a better, better outcome. All right, guys, so thanks for stopping by here at Lab Coat Garage. We'll see you guys next time here. Three days since we did the toothpaste versus our Chemical Guys Headlight Restore. We're outside. This is where Joey's grandma's trap car is parked every day. And here are the results. You can see it's nice and clear. Is it perfect? No, it's definitely not. But it's way better than what it used to be, which is this side right here. You're gonna have to excuse the forklifts and stuff because they're not gonna stop to work. We gotta get you guys your orders, right? Um, and then we have this side, which was the toothpaste side. Um, it's still cloudy, it's still kind of gross. We didn't coat anything. We didn't apply jet seal. We didn't apply nothing because we wanted it just to see how it would look unprotected. Chemical Guys Headlight Restore looks great. Toothpaste, not so great. That's strictly for your teeth and gingivitis, okay? If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and we'll see you guys here next time in the Detail Garage.